What's up guys, it's Living Survival and today I've got the Princeton Tech Remix Headlamp, so stick with me. Alright guys, so in a previous video I showed you the Petzl Tactica Plus, one of my favorite headlamps. The uh, Princeton Tech Remix is another one of my favorite headlamps, fairly similar and we're going to go over the features right now. So this is a 125 lumen headlamp, definitely nice and bright uh, to light up tasks and things using tools knives and things like that around camp or just for general purpose use they are great uh, for having in a survival kit or bug out bag the Petzl was a little bit brighter at 140 lumens it's 125 lumens but you really can't tell the difference this one has a few less modes uh, it has three uh, uh, regular modes and then one uh, ultra bright mode so uh, pretty much three and then a turbo mode uh, it does also take three uh, AAAs, which is really nice. Again, AAAs or AA's are really good to have for your lighting because they are more commonly found than those CR123As or the 18650s, especially if you have no way to recharge those on the go. Uh, so for your kits, you know, I definitely recommend probably sticking with the AAAs or the AA headlamps. It does have an adjustable uh, headband which is very comfortable kind of in this black and white camel pattern of course you can get these in all different colors uh, as well and they do make a couple different models that will vary in lumens and things like that Similar with most other headlamps and the Petzl headlamps, this is IPX4 weather resistant, so it will handle some rain and some snow. You can also, uh, if it happened to drop into a river lake or stream, no problem, just pick it out and you would wanna just open it up and dry it out before you turn it back on. Weighs about the same as the Petzl, 83 grams, and it feels really comfortable on the head. It does also have the single push button up top and it does adjust up and down uh, just like the Petzl, although it doesn't adjust as easily. Uh, you kind of got to work it a little bit more, so it's, it's, a, it's a little harder with uh, one-handed. Usually I have to stick two hands up here to get it to adjust. Uh, with the Petzl, you can kind of just flip it with one hand, but once you've got it set there, it will stay there. Some of you guys might remember this uh, light from my bug out bag video last year or some of my overnight videos. I used this lamp, so it has uh, served me well and it's another great addition to my kit. So taking a look at the operation here, you basically just press it once. You do not have to long hold, which is kind of nice. Uh, the Petzl, you have to long hold. This one, you just press once, and then you basically just keep pressing it, and it will cycle through the modes. Uh, you can see that there's three little LEDs over there, and then one over there. So basically, with a single press, you can operate those two modes, and then if you hold it down, it will go over to the other side where you have two brightness modes as well. So two brightness modes over there, there, hold it down, and you have two brightness modes over there. So four modes all together, two on this side and two on that side, or three modes and a burst. Alright guys, so let's take a look at some night shots of the Princeton Tech Remix. It won't focus. Alright guys, so I'm out here with the Princeton Tech Remix, and this one just has four modes on it, so you can see here that I'm on the lowest mode which is still pretty decent. I mean, I can see. Let's kick it up a notch to the next mode there. That mode's pretty good. And then we can switch it over to our brighter settings. You have one brightness setting there. Get back to it. And then you have the brightest setting there, which is 120 lumens. So anywhere in that 100 to 150 lumens I think is plenty for a headlamp. You can definitely see around your camp real well. You can definitely make your way around really well. And you don't have to be on the brightest setting at all. We just shot up at the trees here. So definitely plenty bright enough. Now this one doesn't have any strobe modes or anything like that, just the four levels of brightness. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Princeton Tech Remix headlamp. If you didn't see the Petzl headlamp video, make sure you go back a video and check that out. Two of my favorite headlamps that I use most often. And it's windy.
So guys, headlamps are really useful when working with tools or knives or things like that around your camp or just for general purpose use. It's a great way to free up your hands, especially in a tent or shelter and things of that nature. Uh, if you guys haven't checked it out, make sure you check out my Amazon store. You'll see this product as well as all the other products I review. There's a link uh, below and on each one of my videos to the Amazon store, you can support my channel by buying through Amazon. Also make sure you check out WorldWideSurvival.com. You can join me and a bunch of other YouTubers and join the discussion on uh, survival and bushcraft. And uh, we have unboxing videos and a lot of great discussion over there. Lots of cool photos and things like that. Also, if you monetize your videos, it's a great way to get more subs and more views by sharing your videos on the forums. So I hope to see you guys over there. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and uh, leave me some comments below on what you guys think about headlamps or what you use. And as always guys, subscribe for more videos.